how to use Google Gemini with Google Meet. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about Google Gemini and how you can use it with your Google Meet. Now, Google Gemini, as we all know, is Google's very own AI based ChatGPT, basically. OK, it's an alternate to ChatGPT and it works pretty incredibly. It has a good GPT software installed in it. And Google Meet, as we all know, is pretty much Skype of the new generation. So how are we supposed to use both of these Google products with each other? So basically, to use Google Meet with your Google Gemini, what you're pretty much going to do is, first of all, let's say I'm going to go ahead and start an instant meeting for myself. So once we have started this instant meeting, what happens over here is as you can see i am in this meeting right now and what happens over here is we are going to be applying google gemini straight over to it so let me show you how now to do this for yourself some of the features that you get on google meet are quite you know straightforward and quite work worthy and obviously, when you want to showcase Gemini for yourself, what you can first and foremost do is you can go over to the notes taking feature. So basically, if you are in any classroom or in any space that requires notes, what you can do is there's an option right up here on the top right that allows you to take notes. Now, that option is going to appear because it is a Google Gemini option okay then moving on there's different features you can find over here for yourself as well like these feature add-ons and obviously they all involve gemini by using all of the gemini features now do make sure that you are signed up with google gemini because in the case you are not then gemini will not appear for you on your google workspace so to sign up with gemini simply go over to Google right in Gemini over here, and it's going to take you to Google Gemini right away. Now, once you're here in Gemini, you can also go ahead and try Gemini Advanced for yourself, which is basically the upper plan for Gemini. And it's quite decently priced. OK, it's not too expensive, you know, a hefty price of $20, which is, you know, a quite a good price, in my opinion. And you can also ask Gemini how do I use Gemini with my Google Meet? So you can ask Gemini itself, and obviously Gemini will give you all the features and capabilities that it has. So as you can see, take notes for me, which is a feature that I told you. You can generate a custom background using Gemini, enhance your video and audio, and then moving on. It says the exact steps for using Gemini features in Google Meet vary slightly depending on the specific feature in your Google Workspace version. But generally, you can activate the features through the activities button in the Google Meet interface. As I told you, right here are going to be the activities. Now, once you open it up, what you can simply do is you can add activities over here. And once you go over here, you can search up Gemini. Now, in the case Gemini does not appear for you, that means that Gemini is already added into your feature add-ons, which is pretty cool. And obviously, as you go on, you get all these note takings for yourself and whatever notes that your Gemini takes for you, what you can do is you can actually apply those notes back in your Google Sheets, okay? And in Google Sheets, you can work along with them as you want, you know, as you go on. And remember when it says enhance video and audio and generate a custom background, let me show you how that works as well. So you click on apply visual effects and you can pretty much go ahead and, you know, apply all these filters, these appearances, the different types of framings, different types of lightings for your meet. And this is all obviously accessed by Gemini because these are all AI features that change your face and change all of your backgrounds in different ways. Now, these are pretty cool features. And obviously, AI programs it in a way that it adjusts to your face or your background accordingly. Then obviously, as you come over here um, into your audio interface, there's obviously different audio settings for you as well. 
And you can work around with the audio settings by simply clicking, uh, clicking on settings over here. And we have different things like call control. Then in video, you can open up your video effects and so on more. So it's, it's a pretty cool and pretty nice thing to have. You can also turn on live captions, which is again, a Google Gemini feature that, you know, goes ahead and auto captions, all the things that are being said in Google workspace. So pretty much that is most of the ideas for this video. That is how you can use your Google Gemini with Google meet in the easiest way. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is all from me and I'll be seeing all of you in the very next video. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.